Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I saw you. Welcome to another episode of Drinking with G. And L. And this year's Christmas cocktail. Eggnog martinis. So we love a Christmas cocktail, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone who's watched this show knows we love a cocktail. We've done 11 episodes <laughs> on cocktails. So we like any reason to have a good cocktail, right? I love cocktail. <laughs> I happen to be... An alcoholic. <laughs> so we love a reason to have a good cocktail, right? Mm-hmm. And I happen to love eggnog, and when we were talking about doing a Christmas cocktail, he said eggnog martinis, and I said yes. That way so, she could stop drinking it in her cereal. I'm an island boy. 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 So the sun. We love a reason to have a good cocktail, right? <laughs> We love a reason to have a good cocktail, right? Cocktails. And I love eggnog. Eggnog is my pumpkin spice. And I've been wanting to have like a great eggnog cocktail, but I don't do the recipes in the house, so. That's why we're doing eggnog martinis. Woohoo! Here we go. So my beautiful wife, Lindsay, who's dressed absolutely beautiful. Thank you, so are you. Little plaid, on plaid. Plaid twins. Mm -hmm. Plaid, plaid you are going to cinnamon sugar rim the glass. I'm gonna rim it. Rim it. So will you explain what I'm doing here? So you can use simple syrup, you can use citrus, but we're using a little Di Sorono because that's one of the liquors that's going into this drink. And there we go. Beautiful. Okay. Perfect. So we got our Stoli vanilla. And if you're gonna make one drink, you're gonna use one and a half ounces of this. But I'm not making one drink, I'm making two. So we're gonna do three ounces. Because that's one and a half times two. Boom, shakalaka. And then one, that gives you three. And you just pour that in like that. Maybe do like it, yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe a little like the splash, huh? Okay, moving on. We got the Di Sorono. We're gonna do two since we're making two drinks. So we'll fill that up. Oh yeah. There's that. Hey. Holidays. And now we're gonna have uh, Eggnog. From this is from Rosa. Rosa Brothers. Brothers. Shout out to Rosa Brothers. You this, make a beautiful. This is a, a, a farmer's market eggnog. You could get it anywhere, but yeah. this one's really nice. Two ounces of this for one drink, but we're doing four because what? We're doing how many? Two. Here it is. Enjoy your holidays. Hello. Now, one scoop of ice. Maybe a little more. Get this thing rocking and rolling. Just to keep okay. it cold. Keep it cold. Put it in your shaker. You're gonna shake this for about 20 seconds till it gets ice cold. Oh yeah, a little shake, 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 Janata, shake your body, Lana. Work, 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 Janata. Hanona? Just a little dance for the people. New Year's is coming, 2022. All right, now it's good. Pop the top. Make sure your shaker is on tight, otherwise you spill it all over the counter, and that's a problem. Let's give it a little pour. Oh, would you look at it? And then no Christmas cocktail is complete without a little garnish. A little garnish. So we get a little ground nutmeg here. Sprinkle it on. Don't worry, my hands are clean. Nice. Yeah. And that's it, right? And there you have it. Ready to enjoy. Eggnog martinis. If you love eggnog as much as I do, you have to make this eggnog martini for your family and friends this year, or better yet, find someone to make it for you. As always, the recipe is in the comments below, and from our house to yours, a salute. And Merry Christmas.